Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm filming live here in my private office in Boca Raton and we're doing tooth number 31 on our patient. And we're prepping for an Emax, which is a lithium disilicate restoration. Uh, we've pre-measured our burr. This is a KS0 burr. We're going to go 1.25 to 1.5 millimeters reduction. We try to get at least 1.5 reduction for posterior. It's going to be a monolithic restoration. So first things first, step cuts. Uh, come on the bit buckle side. So for all the students out there uh, and also young dentists are learning to prep these, I would just uh, highly advise doing depth cuts first. This tooth's already been built up. We did utilize the rubber dam in our last procedure. Now we're just going to go ahead and video this. So the buckle cuss reduction first. We did have to reduce a little of the opposing uh, to gain a little extra room for occlusal anatomy. And do a special shout out to Ed, who is the laboratory representative of Iberclar for Florida. Um, he did a great job with his lecture last night. Okay, so now I'm going to prep the lingual. And we'll, again, I'm going to the depth diameter of the toe of the burr itself. And doing my depth cuts. Small suction if you can. And we're switching from a large suction to something called a tipidilly. Alright, I'm just going to maintain my focus. There we go. Coming up to the mesial marginal ridge and we're reducing that. All right, you can go ahead. Okay, so again, just smoothing the occlusal surface, and now what we'll do is um, we'll do our vertical cuts. So depth cuts for vertical. I'm going to use a small mirror on the buckle just for retraction only. Come right through the buckle groove for 31. You're you're dealing with four cusp anatomy, and I'm going to go the depth half the depth of the toe of the burr for my margin and I'm hawk billing that in and you can easily keep the margin above the gum line you don't have to go below or even at the crest okay. So as you get toward the occlusal portion, you're going to go a little deeper. So I'm, I'm, I'm half the diameter of the burr at the margin. And as I get toward the occlusal, I'm going to be almost the diameter of the burr itself. So if you look at the diameter of the burr, and if you have a gauge, 1.8 is here. Here's 1.6, so we're right about 1.5, so anything greater than that is, is good. Minimum 1.5, but we can get to around 2 on the occlusal will be good. And a taperedness to that. It's going to 
bring our patient up a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to run a little water with this part of our procedure. Are you okay? All right, good. All right, so now it's just a matter of connecting the dots. I'll just take it all the way around to the distal, and I'll do a depth cut back there. Now connect the dots. Now we'll zoom in a little bit. Now this is where a microscope comes in real handy and you can start putting in some beautiful margins. Alright, here's my distal. I'm going to just do a depth cut here. And I try to stay parallel with the long axis of the tooth. And just suction only here. Okay, now I'm going to come around to the lingual. And then do a depth cut on the lingual groove. And I'd like to try to get down uh, lingually. I'd like to try to get down, you know, close to the gum line, not exactly into it. So we've got another millimeter to go. So I'm going to just drop my depth cut right about there and then taper it in. So remember, half the diameter. It's a little light air. There we go. A little water with that. A little intermittent on the mirror. Okay. Now we'll do another depth cut. Come distal again. And another depth cut there. I'm starting my lingual reduction. I'm going to have you turn a little bit toward me. Great. Again, I'm going to go ahead and just marginate that now. I'm going to take my other mirror and I'm going to actually turn the water off on my side. And we'll go with intermitt intermittent water. Now we 
just going to Try to just make sure we have a good proportion on the lingual. All right, and then the next step, just take care of any rough line angles. So we're going to smooth all that at the end. But now I want to do the interprox reduction. So I think initially what I'd like to do is just take a thinner burr and then come right back to the KS2. It's going to be KS1. So I'm going to take a, a long... long diamond and uh, this is actually a tapered diamond it has a very narrow diameter I'm just gonna go and and just start prepping again with my water back on and go right in the inner prox I just go laying it on its side as I start to make my prep I've showed this technique before. I like it because it gives me the ability to go straight down to my margin. And then I just take it a little bit toward the tooth and then just literally just fleck off the excess. Open up just a little bit wider. Great. Okay. Perfect. All right, so now I'll come through with my KS. through that. Now this is the KS0. I'm just going to start planing in there, grabbing my margin. And then we'll get the two out. It's going to be KS1, getting the two. KS1 burr. So we know that's about 1.25, 1.5 reduction we're getting. And the inner prox. You can see there's a little mesial fracture there. I just want to make sure that we cover that completely. And now I'm going to take a, in a little while, I'm going to take, after I check the margins, I'm going to take a scaler and I'm going to scale that margin. I'll be sure we're okay with that. So once around to check the margins, and we're going to also check clearance today. And do that as well. All right. I will uh, pick.
pick this up on the next video clip. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm going to just go through and do a couple little quick checks here and then I'll be back to discuss it further. Ten